Deadly start to Kansas City's New Year. Four murders in four days. Two shootings on New Year's Day, a shooting yesterday morning, and today a woman stabbed to death inside her home. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey joins us live the, tonight outside of the East Kansas City home where that woman was killed. And Tom, we've just gotten some new information about this murder. What did you learn? Yeah, absolutely right. Minutes before we went on the air at five, I got an email from police identifying a suspect and identifying a man who has officially been charged with murder in this case. His name is Larry Ratliff. And according to police, they say around 930 this morning on Northeast 38th Street, the murder happened in that house you see over my shoulder right here. Ratliff stabbed his wife to death, according to police. It has been a vicious start to 2016. This case being reported as a, as a murder, as we said, already the fourth one this year in KCMO. It is the most violent start to a new year in at least five years. Four homicides in four days. To me, if we do not get this under control, there's not a whole lot of point in working on all of the other issues. Councilwoman Jolie Justice is leading the charge for the Citizens Task Force on Violence. The group is made up of teachers, church leaders, and other members of the community, all trying to stop violence in Kansas City with changes that may be tough to come by. We have um, state and federal constitutions and state and federal laws that, that really restrict a lot of what we can do. The group focusing on possible changes to gun laws and better reporting of stolen guns, but also looking for ideas from anyone to stop the violence. It is not an option to do nothing. And so we are going to approach this with a fresh set of eyes. One man who thinks he has a solution is Bishop John Birmingham. When I read about the, uh, the statistics of killing, I, I, I wept. I wept over that newspaper. My heart was broken. Bishop Birmingham has organized a prayer rally this Saturday in hopes of uniting neighbors. I, I think the most impactful response is community coming together. A city looking for answers and trying to stop more tragedies from happening. If we can, over the next year, come up with a policy that saves one life, two lives, ten lives, uh, you know, 110, then it's worth it. The Citizens Task Force on Violence will be holding its first meeting next Tuesday. They'll be making a formal recommendation to the mayor by fall on how to curb violence here in Kansas City. But uh, again, the big update that we just got from police is that Larry Ratliff has been identified as a suspect and is charged with murder for the case that happened at that home you see behind me. We'll be posting all those updates uh, to KSHB.com. Reporting live in KCMO, Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News. Tom